pop the whole family out here today and my wife washing her car. Say hello, Michelle. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll <laughs> we'll rivet this out and we'll be, we'll get it done. <laughs> Welcome back. This year, unleashed the amphibian aircraft uh, build. Put a photo up here. This is what it looked like a week ago. Um, I've pulled it all apart, flipped it over, so I can weld out all the hull, um, finish off bits and pieces. I just took the windscreen off and everything so I could actually get to things. Um, so it'll all go back together very soon and uh, it won't take me long at all actually to get it all back together. Aim is I want to get this thing floating very soon. Uh, I want to test it, at least drop it in the water. Um, I want to make sure my uh, water line that I calculated, I'm going to load some sandbags in it, get some weight into it. I want to see what that, um, that water line is because for the sponsons, I want those sponsons out of the water or just on the top of the water actually, when it's um, sitting there. So uh, that's, what I'm, uh, that's what I've been up to. I haven't done an update for a little while. Um, I've been busy doing just tiny little bits and pieces, just um, welding and things like that. Not very interesting for the camera. So if you're interested in anything aviation, check out um, my other videos. I've got flying videos. Today we're gonna work on uh, the landing gear, actually installing the actuator, getting it to work. Uh, I was working, it's been a little fiddly getting it right uh, with all the lengths and everything, but uh, I've got it right now. Um, so I'll show you the back one and uh, then I'll get onto the front one. So this is basically the setup I've got now. The only thing I've got to do is um, these are temporary bolts that I've used. Uh, just to get it all together and make sure it all works. I'm ordering all the right length bolts Once I um, put in a, an order, I'll put in an order for all my bolts but basically this is the setup the actuators attached in through here and uh, It just pulls down This here is the stop so you can see this here is actually over center so when it's sitting on the ground it's pushing against this which is why i've got these uh, reinforcing steel but bars in there too because they stop the flex when i when i didn't have them in and i was jumping on it i could actually um, see the flex in this section here sort of slightly flexing so i've reinforced it just so that i really get uh, good solid uh, connection and fitment for when it's sitting on its gear. Running fairly slow because I'm actually running quite a long extension cord to a battery at the moment because um, I don't have a battery for the plane. So um, it runs a bit slow because the amps are down. Um, as you know, take uh, 12 volts and run it through 30 meters of cable and uh, yeah, you lose a fair bit. So, but in saying that still works really well. The only, all I'm doing to control it is a couple of alligator clips. Okay, so as you can see, it's a bit slow, but I'm running really low power, as I mentioned. Um, and uh, it's a 12 volt actuator. It's probably only getting maybe uh, 11 volts there or so, and uh, low amps, so not too concerned about the speed, but as you can see, lifts the wheels up nicely. I'm stopped on the micro switches inside the actuator so um, power can stay to it I can leave power on 
so it can be just a simple switch up and down. All right, so this is the other thing I want to show you. Uh, I've taken the actuator out of the back uh, re retract setup and it's sitting on its gear. Um, just goes to prove that the over center mechanism that I've got set up in here takes all the force and actually doesn't have any force whatsoever on the actuator. So the actuator usually sits in here. Um, you can see it's sitting over center. There's nothing else holding it, but it's over center stop mechanism. And uh, I can get in there and jump up and down and it won't move. Like I mentioned, no actuator in here whatsoever. It's purely just um, that over center. And all right guys so uh on to another day and uh i'm getting close to finishing this uh front retract system so uh what i've got here is this rod here it's a 4130 tube and i've got spaces that go in between you can see all these little little spaces here and uh, they basically hold it in position where I need it so it holds the whole thing the tube goes through and it's got these little stop rings on each side they're here pushing that way it's pivoting on this rod and pulling the gear back that way obviously every action has a reaction so if i'm pushing that way that's going to pull here but there's also a force that is going to be exerted on this rod here and it's actually quite a amount quite a big amount of force on here and um so what i've actually done is i've got this flat bar going back to the hull and through the rod itself with spaces so any forces that will be pushed or pulled um, in a side motion will actually be supported by that center because, because it's such a a big span between them These brackets here have been put in just to stiffen this up. Um, a little overkill, but this will actually lift 1,400 pounds. Um, and during testing of it, I actually put a lot of force on this front wheel here on as it was going down. And I actually bent that tube this tube here which is a chromoly tube with aluminium spaces over the top and that's why i put this in this support here mm -hmm. supports it from both directions this here is actually what happened um you can see bent i cut it so i didn't it didn't snap i cut it but uh the reason i put that support in is to stop that so that uh, I don't get any bend or flex at all. So you can see they're a strong actuator. They'll, they'll bend uh, chromoly tube and three mil aluminium tube on top. Uh, so a fair bit of four. All right, so all I've got controlling this is uh, two wires. Everything's all controlled in the stop. So I've got uh, the stops in the actual actuator itself. So I just power to one side, let it stop on the uh, internal stop, power the power up the opposite to let it uh, reverse. So really simple and uh, let's give it a go.
Alright, so as you can see, it goes up and down really smoothly uh, on the stops on the stops and uh, nice and simple. So that worked perfectly. I'm really happy with that. Um, all I've got to do is final rivet this and uh, some of the bolts, I'm still waiting on some bolts. What I'm doing is actually just using what I've got around the house um, as far as bolts go. I've got quite a few bolts and then I'm going through and doing a full list of uh, bolts I'm going to need and get them all from Aircraft Spruce. So um, that's why you might see a few bolts with no lock, lock nuts on them, things like that, because they're not the bolts I'm using. Um, I've got a I've got a fair few AN bolts in stock and um, I'm using what I've got uh, in stock. What I, what I don't, I'm just getting a local bolt and then I'm gonna put in a big order and get them all in one hit. Um, because knowing me, I'm gonna order what I need and then I'm gonna forget something or miss something out. And uh, cause it's coming from the US, so I wanna make sure that I get it all in one hit so save on frame. okay so as far as maintenance goes very little maintenance on this all you got to do is keep this tube here lubricated with some bearing grease uh grease in here grease down there which um and that's it it's very very low maintenance um and uh no electrical wiring to do for the switching and things like that as well it's all inbuilt in the actuator uh, just want to keep everything really simple. The only switch wiring I'm going to need to do is I want to put a, a light on the dash to show that this is up or down. Even though I can see it, I can physically see it uh, from the cabin through the window. This front wheel comes up and it's it uh, it's right there, so you can see it's there. But I still just want to put a switch on here and the back so that when both gear are down I've got lights on um, just as a bit of a safety even though I can visually check them I want, I want to be able to visually check and check my lights as well 